So our sister Jacqueline King from the WPP, and she's just going to tell us a little bit about this mission, um, the cases that we've seen, how many cases we've seen, um, the specialists that are here, etc. This is our um, scoliosis mission, and it was really, it really started out to be a surgical mission. Um, our team from out is out of St. Louis, and we had a total of eight persons, including the rep out of St. Louis, um, who is now left as she left yesterday morning. Um, this is Dr. Wang, this is the Steve Wang, our chief surgeon, and uh, this is his second visit to St. Vincent the Grenadines to provide critical pediatric services to us. He is, was, is supported by his second surgeon, anesthesiologist, and other team members. Um, our clinic was on Sunday when we saw a total of 30 children. Um, from the region, we had a total of seven. We had five from St. Lucia, one from Dominica, and one from Grenada. Um, out of that, we had a total of 10 surgical cases identified, nine spinal fusions, and we had one child with an apparatus in place, a vector that had, that he just came over to have it, have it readjusted. Um, our schedule was, we had the first two cases on Monday, three on Tuesday, three on Wednesday, and today we had two. We are now on our final case. All of them have done beautifully. Um, each child was um, ambulated on the day following surgery, and uh, so far, none of them needed to have any blood transfusion. Dr. Wang is the maestro. He is fast, he is smooth, and uh, we have good um, results on that. Supporting the mission, of course, we have uh, Dr. Charles Wood. He's our adult orthopedic surgeon out of St. Vincent the Grenadines, and his role was to prepare the children by having their images and other investigations done, supported by our own pediatrician, Dr. Bharati Data, who ensured that the background information needed on each child was in place. And joining us on Sunday from St. Lucia, an adult uh, orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Jeffers, who is probably on his 12th mission to St. Vincent. He, out of all of the other fellows of the region, has been most consistent and has worked with almost all the scoliosis surgeon as well as the general auto surgeon. Um, his daughter accompanied him as an observer and we have really had a very productive week. Um, no problems to date. And I think uh, once again, we really have to say thank you to the Ministry of Health, the nursing staff, the hospital administrator, the junior staff. We had Fitzpatrick, we have um, uh, other junior doctor who really provided the kind of support to make this whole experience worthwhile and very meaningful. In this um, mission, you also had um, support from the Mario Holder Trust. Yes, we did have two members from the Mario Holder um, Foundation Trust. They came in country and they have been providing support to um, our program. Uh, there's an agreement in place um, that our CEO, Miss Lauren McIntosh, she has been in discussions with them since they came. We also had a family out of St. Louis who um, came to be part of it, to interact in the, in the clinic. And we have a little boy, Mikkel Hall, a 13-year-old who has since left for um, St. Louis for cardiac surgery, um, accompanied by his mom, Odinga, um, a hall and that family is going to support them while they're there. They're like the host family and the interaction was really very good. They became best friends. They became very best friends, yes, and it really worked very well. They got to see Mikkel in his own environment, get to connect and so start that whole process. So when they get to St. Louis, that family will be there taking care of business and helping them as they um, recover, he recovers through surgery. So Dr. Jeffers, and we met him in a clinic on Sunday. Yep. This is prior to surgery. Now we have done several cases. This is the last day. Can you tell me a little bit about what that has been like? Okay, I think we've changed lives. We've done quite a lot. Um, five, nine surgical procedures, and they're all spine surgeries, and they're on kids and, and young adults. Um, and I think it's going to be a life-changing moment for them when these kids have rehabbed and realized that they're 
you know, it's it's not a cosmetic procedure, but I think it's life life changing in the sense that they are now um, um, balanced in the in terms of their posture. Um, oftentimes in our Caribbean setting, when you have a deformity, you know, you tend to be ostracized, you tend to be picked on and bullied and so on. Even when you're an adult, um, it's even more um, common in kids. But as an adult, that sort of um, stigmatization continues. And if we can help young adults to sort of get a proper body posture from a surgical intervention, it's a wonderful, yeah, it's a wonderful thing to do because it gives them that, um, you know, joy to continue living and being part of the society. So we're with Matt, and he's going to tell me a little bit about who he is, where he works, and the support that they give to the WPP. Let's go. Awesome. Hi, I'm Matt Benetham. Uh, I work for Johnson & Johnson. Uh, we were able to um, provide Dr. Wong and his team with the screws and rods necessary for the scoliosis correction. Uh, it's really fortunate for me. This is my first time here to be able to provide support to the team and um, to enjoy the island as well. Well, welcome to St. Vincent and thank you for the support. Um, how do you feel about like partnering with the WPP to change lives? Uh, it's a great opportunity. Uh, Johnson Johnson has done a couple of the orthopedic missions here at St. Vincent. Uh, this is our first spine, I believe, and I hope to be back. So we're here with Dr. Wang, and he's the magician that does. <laughs> Supported by, he's supported with his team. He did all the magic over the last four days. What has that been like? Uh, it's been a great experience. Uh, we love coming here and my team and everybody and helping everybody here as well and working with the local doctors, local teams. It's really been a, a great experience. And what um, has the response been from the cases that you've worked with in this mission? Oh, it's been great. Uh, again, the families are very appreciative, and you know, so far they're doing very well and very happy, uh, which make, makes us feel really what, you know, good about coming down to the work we do. Okay. How did you get connected with the WPP, and why have you stayed? So, uh, I think they, they got in touch with. I work for a nonprofit in the U.S. called Shriners. And so they end up working together. One of my bosses worked with them before, and so they put me in touch. And so I think it works very well because both organizations are nonprofit, focused on things like scoliosis to help children. And so when I can come here and treat the children locally, I think it's great. Some of the children, I think, maybe require more care or a little more risk for surgery. So with those children, we bring up to the U.S. and we treat them where I can in Shriners. So it's kind of a nice collaboration between the two. And what have your experiences in Vincent been like? This is the second time. What has that been like? That's been beautiful. Everybody here is super nice and friendly. We love it here. It's, it's a beautiful country. 